So I think y'all were the 51st school mentioned in the 6014 field. What was the the nerves like watching this? Game? Yeah, the, the nerves are tough. Uh, the one thing that you try to keep in mind throughout the whole process is you're you're going through geography, and so even though you want to hear your name first or second or third, it, you know you, you need to buy a map to understand. You've got to work your way across the country. Um, when I started seeing some of the names up there and some of the potential hosts. You know, you start to think, well, Memphis would make sense for us, or maybe we head up to Northern Kentucky to Thomas Moore, and mm -hmm. you know, those pods hadn't been filled yet, so you're still you're still hopeful, but the anxiety certainly doesn't subside at all. And they, they were saying, you know, we're back. When was the last time you guys were in there? Well, we were there last year, but we had we set a goal all year this year to get back. And yeah. uh, the model this year had always been it's all about twenty. It's our twentieth appearance in the NCAA tournament, and uh, just really special because of the, the injuries we've had this year. And some of the adversity we've had to, to be able to have this group of girls get to go play again in the tournament, I, I think is a real validation of, of what we did, not just all year, but in the last couple of weeks where we, we lost two starters to ACL tears, one of our key reserves to, to surgery. And so we were, we were trying to grind and scrap and find ways. And so I, I'm so thrilled for them because it, it really is, it's been a great year regardless, but, but unbelievable validation for what they had done.